Hello everyone, Treadstone here with Warlords 2, and I wanted to do a video for you on War College battles, especially uh, hard mode uh, in the mid-range. I'm talking about the 50s and 60s. One of my uh, alliance mates recently said, hey, if you're doing a video, can you, can you show how to, you know, win battles quickly in the War College? So here we are in War College hard mode, and we'll just take one. So here's, you know, level 69, <clears throat> and I haven't played this battle in a very long time, so I really don't know what's going to happen, but if you see, you have to win the battle above 60% hit points, and you have to win the battle within 28 seconds. So looking at this, and I, you know, I'm going to go through my different standard, you know, army builds here. Okay, so we got 60% hit points, so I don't really want to take Seth. I think I'll take Divine Sage. Uh, that's more than your normal is 50% <clears throat> hit points to get three stars. So this is 60%, and you have to do it within 28 seconds. And then the other way, all you have to do is win the attacker. It doesn't matter if your heroes die, as long as you're above 60% hit points. So I haven't played this in a while, uh, but just looking at this, what I want to do is I want to spread out my healing. Uh, I always stay with the... <clears throat> usually I stay with the level 50... Um, a Sandstorm Sage, uh, the support unit, the level 50. Uh, very good because of the 15% damage reduction to infantry troops. But since this is going to be above uh, in 28 seconds, I'm, I'm going to put in the Eastern Geisha. Um, this is a really good healer, and it increases your attack and critical resist by 10%. Uh, another good one for this, if you know which type of uh, troop it is, this one gives you a 15% attack boost. So your level 75, your Astral Bishop, which is a you know a very good bonus. Um, I I don't know. I mean, 10% attack versus 15% attack. You get the critical resist. Um, you know, I don't know if this one affects um, the Eastern Sohi or not. So I mean, that's usually what I run um, because of the damage reduction. And the reason I run damage reduction is that like dead troops don't actually do any damage so you want troops that are living that are going to cause damage so you know in this case you know we're just playing around with things how about the eastern samurai yeah mine have 80,000 hit points they do 1927 damage um versus 1637 so six at 1637 six at 1927 so this should be pretty good we're facing cavalry <clears throat> and if you don't know um troop advantage right um infantry counter is is stronger against cavalry so since these are cavalry i'm going to go with the samurai uh, i'm going to keep in three musketeers i don't know what's coming i'm going to use divine sage and the goal of this is to win it within 28 seconds i've obviously done that before so i'm not too concerned about this battle um what's another thing so i have heal and insight insight is a great spell uh, if you want to, if you want to get above twenty percent hit points, I mean, so for me, maxed out in sight, I get what fifty six percent movement speed, fifty six percent attack speed, and fifty six percent extra attack. So you just deal a ton of damage, like off the bat, and your troops really get after it with insight. Um, heal, I probably don't need. Um, I'm going to do Toxic. That does 2,514 damage for 6 seconds. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So why don't I get rid of Heal and, and put in Toxic. And let's see what kind of uh, damage we can do against these Cavalry. Um, so let's go. Let's see how quickly we can beat this. Oh, wow. That's a lot of them. And they all come rushing in there. And we'll drop a Heal over there. We'll drop a... I can get both of those. So let's do insight on both of my heroes. And the reason I want to get both of my heroes um, is, oh wow, that was 10 seconds. Okay. There we go. Um, let's find one that I haven't been able to beat. Level 100, what's the, what's, what do we got to do here on this one? Is this a six, 28 seconds one? Yeah. Level 100, 28 seconds. I really don't think this is going to work. Um, 
I know I'll need a heal on this one. Um, I've beaten this one before. I haven't done it in 28 seconds, and I haven't done it with these troops. I've done it with the um, the Sohi. Uh, so let's make sure that we can win it before we bring in inf different infantry. I'll show you the difference in the two battles. So let's do Sohi. Um, same concept. Let's put, yeah. Eh, leave Divine Sage over here. We'll heal these so he uh with the heal spell we'll here in the middle with divine sage three musketeers should be able to take out the hell hide dragon within sight on three musketeers and let's just see if those 75 healers make a big difference uh the goal here is not it doesn't have anything to do with hit points so i don't care if i win it with 10 hit points as long as i get it in 28 seconds so let's just try it Okay, she's gonna go drop that heal boom both of my heroes got the insight that time uh, let's see here what's happening to my troops hell high dragon's gonna go down really quick I need to keep the troops around Wolfina healed I know that I've done a video on this battle before boom done keep going with Three musketeers, and let's heal these troops. Oh, they all stepped out of the range. Uh, see, 28 seconds is just really, really difficult to get to. Um, I really don't know how to do this within 28 seconds, to be honest with you. Somebody's done it. Um, I'm, like, certain of that because we got people that have 720 stars in the... Uh, in the arena and I would love for one of them to watch one of my videos and come in here and tell me how to do it <clears throat> look how far off I am from 28 seconds this took a minute and a half that's a really long time you know really care about 33 percent hit points I mean the extra damage reduction is good um, that's you know what let's just try something out different um, same battle. Let's try out, instead of the 75 healers, let's put in the 125 healers and just see if it makes any difference. Uh, we'll do pretty much the same battle, just with different healers. Um, let's go. Okay, I'm going to drop heal spell over by Wolfina. Divine Sage is going to heal the middle. Uh, oh, it's in the way. Got all, both of my heroes have sight going on. Uh, Hellhide Dragon's going down. Let me keep healed over by Wolfina. And Dragon's down. Okay, that helps out a lot. Uh, Re-engage three Musketeers. And boom. I mean, where there's 28 seconds has already gone by. It's crazy, right? So, besides the fact, last battle we ended with 33% hit points. Let's see what we're going to have here. Man, I can't believe Wolfina is still not down. <clears throat> now she goes down. Okay. i got to watch out about Divine Sage losing too many hit points over here. Um, let's keep my healers. heroes healed up. And we're going to engage three Musketeers. Okay. Now it's about the same amount of time. So I, I don't think... The uh, attack difference really made any difference on that. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Do you guys want to see what it's like if we use a different different infantry type? Um, I still don't have my manic cutters uh, maxed out yet. That'll be interesting when I have those maxed out yet. So let's see what happens if I bring in these guys. Uh, boy, without damage reduction on these, uh, uh, I just don't know if they'll last, but yeah, well, let's try it. Just changing out different things to see, you know, if we can make any improvements here. Um, I do know uh, one way, you know, that I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I've shown you guys here. If you go to the cathedral, you can add in bonuses for attack. Uh, and hit points, and I bet that would make a huge difference. Um, let's see. All right, dragon went down, so that's great. And I think the dragon went down faster this time than normal. 
Oh, wee, look at that. Look at my inventory just died. I'm telling you, that damage reduction makes just a huge difference in the game, guys. If, if you're not focusing on damage reduction, you're, you're really doing the wrong thing. That's the difference between Samurai and Sohi. And, and really, look at that. I mean, I, I just lost the battle because of damage reduction. And I don't think putting in the level 50 healer is going to do any better or help us achieve our goal of getting this within 28 seconds. So... You know, I've said this before, I said it in this video, I said it in other videos. Dead troops don't do any damage, right? So if you're if you're looking at this and you're saying, Man, I mean Trudson, you're not even getting this within twenty eight seconds. Yeah, there's no way. Um I'm certainly not gonna get it within twenty eight seconds with these troops. Um We could try these. They do a lot of damage up front. My cavalry is not maxed out. Maybe that's what you need is like maxed out cavalry. I don't know. I I have a strong feeling that these cavalry are just going to just die. Um, let's try it with two different healers. We'll try it with the 75 healer with the plus 15% attack. Let's see if that makes any difference. Uh, I'm going to try to keep them alive. Um, I don't think I'll be able to, especially not once this dragon goes off like that. Oh, man. Divine Sage is, like, way over there. Yeah, there's no way. My cavalry are just they're just too weak. Even with doing all the extra damage up front, they just can't can't do enough right now to, uh, to, to be able to make this fight happen. It was faster, though, right? At least I died faster. And listen to me, you may not like to hear that <laughs> sometimes in the arena that the whole goal is just die faster or to win faster. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You just want to be faster because sitting there with Sohi for two and a half minutes is just torture sometimes. Um, so what I have proven to you, the point that I have proven to you with all of these different attack strategies is that the fastest way to win a battle sometimes is with troops that stay alive and the troops that stay alive are your sohi um that wasn't necessarily the point i was trying to prove i was trying to like actually show you how to do it faster um but it i just keep coming back to dead troops don't do any damage um overall i mean we we talk about how to improve your troops i mean i've gone through the videos on this right um i mean just True Paul Archives, the War Monument are the place to go. Infantry attack is going to be the big difference. So 38.9% infantry attack. I bet I can go to the arena right now and find somebody with higher than that. Um, he's got infantry troops. Let's go look at what Santa over in Night Watchman has. I'm not calling him out or anything. I like Night Watchmen. They're a good, they're a good group of people. I first started there. Um, but I know they focus on their infantry really well. Um, thirty six percent. Okay, not too high. About the same as me. Darth Gris is forty percent. Dentaro Ryan, where was he at? Forty five percent. I've seen some people with like sixty percent infantry attack. I mean, obviously that's gonna help. Critical rate is gonna help. Critical attack is gonna help. Or uh, critical damage. I mean, I'm sorry. So when I go infantry. Critical rate, attack, hit points, damage reduction. You got to stay alive. The hit points and damage reduction help you stay alive. The attack and the, the crit rate, I mean, crit rate obviously is, is a benefit, right? Critical damage versus attack is, is one of those things that people put out there is which one do you do? Truly, truly, I don't know. I don't know which one's better. You know, you can get up to 50% infantry critical damage. If you got that, I certainly wouldn't change it to attack. But 17.9% attack, I mean, that's really on the high side. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably stay with attack. Um, as far as, you know, going fast in the war college, you know, I'm not trying to sound defeatist. You'll get these. These three stars come with time. I mean, really, get your hit points up. Get your damage reduction up. Work on your attack next. And, I mean, you will get through these. 
you can see, I mean, I got through level 69 in like 10 seconds. And then you get up to like 100, and man, it's just, it's just a huge difference not being able to. I mean, sometimes, like different troops, different strategies, I can't even beat it, you know? Um, so if you're, if you're struggling in the war college and you say, man, I'm really struggling getting these third stars, first of all, Go as go as fat as far as you can. If you can't get three stars, don't wait. Just keep pressing, keep going. Um, because you wanna you wanna unlock these chests, right? I mean, these are the this is the last one that I can unlock here. I think these are Eastern, right? Yeah. Uh, you wanna unlock the troop coins more than anything, and you get gems and some of these like your your rewards if you go look at them have really just outstanding rewards. Like, what's the reward for 115? Just gold. 110, three-star reward. There you go, 10 Saint Shards right there, boom. So, I mean, they're, they're worth, definitely worth uh, pushing on. Uh, go as far as you can, and then as you increase your damage reduction, as you increase your hit points, as you increase your attack, go, go back and try them later. Knock out the, the third star, but uh, biggest point don't lose hope you know um you can watch my troop overview video but you know look focus on your infantry i mean if you can see like damage boost helps out a lot um what else am i crit rate infantry critical damage 15 percent like that's huge you know off the bat damage reduction 10 percent so go you know focus on one troop type i picked infantry the reason i tell you to pick infantry is I mean, it just makes a huge difference. Damage reduction, hit points. Start with damage reduction, start with hit points, work your way up. Crit rate after damage reduction and hit points. And then uh, I, I'm doing critical damage in, in the uh, True Paul archives, but it may be attack, maybe damage boost, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that once I get all those, you know, attack and damage boost and crit damage, crit rate all maxed out that I can come back here in the the um, war college and say take on 110 again and get get the third star uh, the other thing I would say you know I told you I'd tell you about it these buffs in the in the cathedral are huge like I said 20% attack yeah that's gonna that's gonna really help you get through there faster is it really worth 450 um, cathedral blessings I mean maybe that's for you to decide right the extra 20% hit points is really going to help your troops stay alive. Is it worth it? I mean, like I said, what what I what I would really suggest doing is not even worry about getting the third star for now. Push as far as you can and then once you have hit points and damage maxed out, maybe you know, once you get hit points damage, you know, crit rate, crit damage and attack done, then activate those two for 2 hours and just go through here and just have a ball and just knock out as many as you can. I mean, you know, once you get in your treasury and you get into your war college, you get your 60 points for the weekend. There's no real reason to keep going on that. You, you unlock your chest as you can go, but, I mean, you can do that without getting three stars on everything. Um, you can't fully unlock it to 360. You have to obviously get three stars on everything to do that. But um, until you've until you've actually put some effort in the True Paul archives, until you set your war monument the way you want to, you can't fully expect to just, you know, rip and go through there so wait till you're maxed out uh update your your war monument to the stats that are important focus on the true paul archives on the stats that are important and uh and that's it i mean you might even want to wait until you get say if you're going after infantry you might even want to wait until you have you know all of your infantry check there's five percent extra attack for infantry just from um paladin and then i think what twilight crusaders cavalry uh who's I don't even remember my infantry people. I haven't even looked at them. Crit damage right there, you know, for infantry. So, um, the people that have 720 hit points in the War College, like if we go look at rankings and we go look at War College, right, there are people that have 720. There's what, one, two, there's five people in the game that have Mr. Lee just got it the other day. And I guarantee you, that's like 50% infantry attack. 45% hit point. That's kind of low for infantry. Oh, wait. So, I'm sorry. sorry. That's his heroes. 77, 78% hit points for infantry. That's huge. Crit rate's almost 69%, 68.5%. Crit 
Critical damage, 55%. That's fine. Evasion, 38%. Damage reduction, 54%. Like, you know, we're not even talking about 20% accuracy. You know, he's finished everything. Crit resist, damage boost, 20%. So, yeah, it really helps, you know. Focus on the troops. Focus on the troop hall archives. Focus on the troop, uh, the war monument. And then once you get your 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 heroes evolved all the way to mythic guys this is a long-term game it takes a long time you can't expect to be the top player in the game uh if you haven't max started maxing out everything so there you go um good news is you know you can still get pretty far without maxing everything like i'm at i'm stuck on level 115 and i'm about halfway through my infantry troops and the troop hall archives you can speed that up by getting the weekly treasury every month I, like i said i haven't done that um, I'm not encouraging you to spend money, but you're asking how to how to get faster. You're asking how to get through the War College and get those three stars, and these are the ways to do it. So um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in, and let me know if you have any more questions, okay? Treadstone out.